Pentans, and Libra Aries, the John Coltrane, Barbara Water, T.S. Eliot, they were Libras, but they had a dissociation, almost, they, had, they were fighting it, they were pushing, pushing limits. John Coltrane pushing limits with the music. Barbara Water was a very smart, challenging um, interviewer. Wouldn't want to mess with her or argue with her, but she would want to argue with you. And T.S. Eliot was still a very profound, challenging poet, but he, he, um, he had the opposition of the Mars, Venus, the Aries, Libra, and he wrote about the emptiness between things, just had a special style. You wouldn't call him a sweet poet or melodious, <laughs> he was a challenging poet. Um, Taurus, the Libra Taurus, again, you have Jerry Lee Lewis, musician, Johnny Mathis, and Groucho Marx. So they all, even Groucho Marx in his, in his movies, the actor comedian, he always had, there was always uh, classical music and music was a big part of their routines. So this, these were all with the Taurus called the Venus quality to the Libra. The Libra Gemini, Bob Geldof, Live Aid organizer, Heinrich Himmler had an ideas going on at pushing his own idea, head of the Nazi SS, Vladimir Putin of Russia, has his own ideas. He's Libra, but he's got the Gemini independence. I'm making my own idea. Why shouldn't I be forever, here forever? Libra Cancer, where you get the moody side of the Libra, you have John Lennon, Paul Simon, and Lenny Bruce. Lenny Bruce was more the uh, a kind of comedian, but he would, he had his vulgarity in his words, and he'd go on these talks and rants about talking things, but it still had a moon quality to it. Libra Leo, Oscar Wilde, Evil Knievel, and Chuck Berry. They're all got to be shown, got to be known, got to be seen. So Oscar Wilde, he wrote the portrait of Dorian Gray, which is perfect Libra Leo thing. The picture that got old instead of him. No, like, and Evil Knievel, he just had to try everything. This guy was the daredevil that has, at one way or another broke every bone in his body at different times. But... Um, yeah, he's born on my birthday. When I found that out, I was ready to jump. That's another story. Okay, the Libra Leo with Chuck Berry, one of the leading edges of rock and roll and started to be noticed and just put it out there like a big kid. The Libra Virgo, more analytical or critical, you have Arthur Rimbaud, Deepak Chopra, and Timothy Leary. So you start to see the Virgo element within the Libra within this. I mean, how do you do justice to all the people? So we're just, when you get to the Scorpios, we have Pablo Picasso, Th Dylan Thomas, Julia Roberts, Grace Slick, Paul, Joseph Goebbels, Ezra Pound, Albert Camus, Billy Graham, Leo Trotsky, Kurt Vonnegut, Fyodor Fyodor Dostoevsky, George Patton, Robert Louis Stevenson, Prince Charles, Che Guevara, Martin Luther, Robert F. Kennedy, and Voltaire. So yeah, you instantly have a, a, a you have the Scorpio theme inside of this. You can you can see, you see the intensity in these people, but when you break it down, the Libra Scorpio Scorpio with the Libra things, Pablo Picasso his painting, Dylan Thomas his poetry, Julia Roberts the beautiful actress, sexy but she had the beauty. They had the Libra quality to it, to be appreciated. When you get the Scorpio Scorpio, you have Grace Slick. Paul Goebbels and Ezra Pound, intense, deep, challenging. With Scorpio Sag, you have the adventurous side of it, or the philosophical side of the Scorpio, and you have Albert Camus, Billy Graham, and Leo Trotsky, the revolutionary. So they're going to take their fight and ex expand it, or, or push their existentialism or their philosophy or their belief systems. When you get to Scorpio Capricorn, you have Kurt Vonnegut, Dostoevsky, Dostoevsky, Fyodor Dostoevsky, and George Patton. So you have this practical side of things. And Kurt Vonnegut, who wrote a lot of science, who wrote a science fiction, but they're all, you wouldn't say, some people call it measuring, but they were really down to earth practical writings. And uh, Dostoevsky, he had his own serious side. So they have the Saturnian quality, Scorpio Saturn quality. The Scorpio Aquarius, you have Robert Louis Stevenson, the author. You have Prince Charles, who, the prince who 
desired to be king, but had his, uh, had his own affairs and his own situations on the side. Um, che Guevara again, revolutionary leader, fight, fight against the injustice. Um, when he gets Scorpio Pisces, Martin Luther King, founder of Protestantism, Robert Kennedy, um, Voltaire, and I recently found out from, read something about Robert Kennedy, it was very interesting for me, it just, he was about to, disp he didn't like the CIA and he was going to disband the CIA because he didn't think America should be doing dirty tricks on other countries. And that's probably why he got killed. So anyway, this little history is some crap. It's all full of stuff, right? I and mean, we all got our takes on it. We all have our, like we've got different mixes of movies, different mixes of books, different things, we, different ways of looking from our matrix at the outer seeming outer world. And um, these are patterns within it. We've seen it. So now we got the Sagittarius, Nat Adderley, Tina Turner, Jimi Hendrix, William Blake, Mark Twain, Versace, Gianni, Versace designer, Britney Spears, Horst Bultschwald, filmmaker Walt Disney, Jim Morrison, David Carradine, Flip Wilson, Edward Roberts, Edward G. Robinson, Basil Rathbone, Philip Dick, Keith Richards, John Genet, and John Milton. So you can expect writers, teachers, travelers, philosophers out of this. So when we take sides to Aries, this is going to have the sides, the Jupiterian with the Aries Martianness. You have Nat Adderley, the jazz musician, brass, playing the brass. Tina Turner, what's love got to do with it? Singer actress, but just she's physically in good shape, always has been. Jimi Hendrix, he had his own practical take on playing, here he was, playing, doing his thing. Very stand out, very unique, unique way. You get to the Sagittarius. With the Venus quality in there, you have William Blake, Mark Twain, and Versace, the fashion designer. So seeing the group or seeing the team and being able to get some beauty or some emotional quality out of it. Besides Gemini, um, that's Britney Spears, singer, songwriter, dancer, uh, filmmaker, Hirschbutzold and Walt Disney, the cartoonists, they went into their ideas. Like, we can go out this way, I'm doing this, and look, this is interesting, this is interesting, and they followed the Gemini quality. Besides Cancer, Jim Morrison, David Carradine, Cliff Wilson, they had either their humor or their moodiness, the doors, you know, this is the end. But they still had this moodiness, this moodiness with the Cancer, but it's taken out to Jupiterian, Jupiter with the moon, it, they tend to exaggerate. So. And David Carradine, he has, he played the Kung, the Kung Fu series and played this role, but in his own life, he was part teacher and had some of his own, um, he had challenges living up to what, the roles that he played, you know, and uh, that, so anyways, this was the moon. So when you get the Sag Leo, Edward G. Robinson, Basil Rathbone, and Philip Dick. The, Philip Dick wrote Blade Runner, you know, it was one of uh, it was one of his books, one of his books into movies. But they all had a really glamorous, dramatic take on things. Edward Lee Robson was blatantly who he was. Basil Rathbone blatantly who he, <coughs> who he was. The actor for Sherlock Holmes. Sage Virgo, Keith Richards, Sage but critical. John Genet, novelist, understanding but a little picky. John Milton. So you have. The critical side of the understanding paradise lost is almost like the Virgo analyzing the Jupiter paradise, the Sag paradise. But each of these, you could, it's just a starting point. You can go deeper from it, but it's a very useful starting point as you're doing each sign, as you're working with people that are just real people, and you see these qualities, and you watch that person has that quality. It's so now Capricorn. Okay, we're this far. We gotta get through them all. How are we doing for time? Yeah. Okay, this is good. Um, Taiko Bray, Howard Hughes, Mao Tzu Tsung, Denzel Washington, Mary Tyler Moore, Tiger Woods, Jim Baker, Mel Gibson, Diane Keaton, Elvis Presley, Van Cleef, Lee Van Cleef, Western, Richard Nixon, Rush Limbaugh, Hemery Going, Joan of Arc, Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, and Muhammad Ali, all Capricorns. We get down to Capricorn Libras, 
Tycho Brady, astronomer, mathematician, Howard Hughes, the millionaire aviator, and um, Mao Tse Tung. So we had the practical side, but you had the idealist and the, and the dreamer and the visionary of the Libra, the, the Venus air element coming into that. The Capricorn Scorpio, Denzel Washington, Murray Tynemer, Tiger Woods. They're practical, they're intense, but they have their fights, their intensity. Mary Tyler Moore was first female star with her own show. She was just blatantly there. And then Tiger Woods, he became the golf champion, did the Martian thing, but then there was struggles with his marriage and his home life around that. Capricorn Sag, you have the Capricorn with the establishment with an understanding of Jim Baker, the evangelist, Mel Gibson. Yeah, it's like he was the actor, but then he had to do his book. And when he did his movie, he did the one of just, it's just a torture movie of Jesus, right? It was like that um, really shocking. Anyway, then Diane Keaton, actress, director, producer, Capricorn, but got to do everything. Capricorn, Capricorn, Elvis Presley, Lee Van Cleef, Richard Nixon. Capricorn, Capricorn, Saturn, Saturn. But Elvis was listening and listening and being able to hear the music and play, but they all had a, a certain restriction or inhibition. They weren't necessarily, he was popular, but Nixon was popular in his own day. He got it to, he got to be president, but he, had, he was over controlling. Um, Capricorn Aquarius, Rush Limbaugh, Herman, Her, Herman Goring, and Joan of Arc, all like Aquarius elements of Capricorn. Capricorn Pisces, Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, Muhammad Ali. Whoa. Okay, so two more to go with Aquarius. We've got Buzz Aldrin, Benny Hill, Aquarius, Jack Nicholas, Virginia Woolf, Angela Davis, Oprah Winfrey, James Joyce, Richard Steins, Charles Lindbergh, Eva Braun, Dick, Charles Dickens, Bob Marley, Carol King, Morris Pasternak, Arsenia Hall, Edgar Bergen, Yoko Ono, and Brad Steiger. When we put it into the Aries, the Aquarius Aries, Buzz Aldrin, the second man on the moon, the astronaut, Benny Hill, the comedian, slapstick, Jack Nicholas, the golfer. You see the Mars quality. Aquarius Taurus, Virginia Woolf, the feminist, Angela Davis, the political activist, and Oprah Winfrey, the talk show host. They had Aquarius, but they have their set, set of values of what they value and who they are. Um, Aquarius Gemini, James Joyce, Gertrude Stein, and Charles Lindbergh. So you had two writers, it's just a couple of people, and, and just, and Charles Lindbergh, the first Atlantic travel, took the plane across the Atlantic for the first one, first one to do that. Aquarius Cancer, Eva Braun, um, Mr. Selfett, Adolf Hitler, Charles Dickens, and Bob Marley. They had the moody cancer side to it. Aquarius Leo, Carol King, Songwriter Boris Pasternak, Dr. Shivago, the author, Arsenio Hall. Smart and kind of proud and noticeable. Aquarius Virgo, you have Edgar Bergen, Yoko Ono, and Brad Steiger. The ventriloquist, I thought that was an interesting twist on that. The artist, artist singer, kind of strange and critical, and Brad Steiger, the writer of the paranormal. 